And welcome back to the Steve Malsberg Show. Very, very uh, interesting uh, piece in the uh, Wall Street Journal by uh, independent journalist, former staff writer and senior editor at uh, uh, Haaretz, an Israeli newspaper. And we welcome in Adi Schwartz. Hello, Adi. Hi. Happy, Good afternoon. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year. Thank you very much. Well, my pleasure. All right, so for a couple of things. We have, you know, we have John Kerry in the region trying to ram uh, the uh, – in my opinion, ram the uh, pre-67 borders agreement down the throats of the Israelis. Uh, what pictures they have of Netanyahu, I don't know. Uh, but you wrote, a, you wrote a great piece, and I, I think people need to understand this. Um, and and you, the title of the piece in the journal was Israel's Christian Awakening. And you talk about, um, you know, as Christmas uh, came, uh, came closer and, and the Christmas holidays and you know, the role of Christians in, in, in Israel, the, the, what Israel represents to Christians, and the, the kinship that's formed between, uh, you know, the Christian community and, uh, and Israel. Yes, uh, I think that uh, something very interesting is going on here in the area. I think it's happening in the last... I mean, the phenomena is, is taking more and more uh, uh, importance in the last one, two, three years. And we see that uh, Christians, um, for decades, by the way, they were called Arab Christians. Some of them still want to be called Arab Christians. But what we see is that more and more uh, Arab Christians uh, want to be much closer to the Jewish society than to the Muslim society. And actually, I think what is more interesting is that more of them are willing to say it out loud and publicly, because... Experts and analysts say that, that for years, for decades, actually, um, Christians were intimidated in, in Israel, I'm saying here, in the, in the area, of course in the area, but also in Israel, uh, were intimidated and um, there was physical uh, harassment, etc. We all know what's going on right now around us in, in, in uh, Iraq, Syria, Egypt. But even here, in mixed cities where Muslim and uh, Christians used to live together, uh, what's new right now that we see that uh, Christians are more willing to take a stand publicly, out open, say, for example, they want to join the Israeli army, which is, um, which is um, an outstanding uh, phenomenon. I mean, uh, for years, for decades, they, nobody wanted to talk about that. Um, so, yes, that's something that we see more and more right now. And why? Why? I mean, I, I could guess... I mean, you know, all over the, uh, the Middle East and all over in, in parts of Africa. I mean, you know, we have Muslims uh, slaughtering Christians, blowing up churches, blowing up Christian schools. Um, so, I mean, I could guess, but uh, tell me why, what, to what you attribute this, uh, this uh, you know, change, uh, sea change to. Yeah, so, so I uh, first of all visited a couple of times Nazareth. That's the biggest city uh, where Christians live in Israel. It's, it's in the, up in the north. And I've spoken with quite a lot of Christians, and you're right. What they say, for example, they, they are appalled. They're, they're frightened. They speak. The, I think that uh, uh, there isn't enough stress on uh, the plight of, of Christians and what's going on in this region. Cops in Egypt, we all, we all know what's going on in Egypt. I mean, we see and there's the Muslim Brotherhood, and, and there's a referendum, there's constitution, etc., etc., but we don't really know... Uh, or we don't notice enough what's going on with the Copts. The same in Syria, the same in, in, um, in Iraq. Every time I spoke to them in, in these couple of weeks when I did the research, they told me about different villages and different uh, cities where, where Christian nuns, for example, were kidnapped and raped and uh, horrible, horrible stories. So I think they're really, really scared. They're really, really scared. So that's first of all. And now they're more willing to say publicly that uh, what was considered to be Arab uh, nationalism is basically a, there's a rift between Muslims and Christians. Um, I, I'll give you one example again from Nazareth. Yeah, sure. In, in Nazareth, there's the, a, a very big uh, um, church, the, actually Basilic, the Annunciation. And there's a very small ancient market leading to that church. And at the entrance to that, small market, there's a huge sign which Muslims uh, put on saying basically that um, um, you shouldn't believe in Christ and that you should believe in Allah and, and, and all kinds of stuff like that, using quotes from the Quran, from the Holy Book of Muslims. But this, this, um, this huge sign is, uh, is, is in the, really something like 50 or 100 yards 
from one of the holiest places for Christianity in the Holy Land. So you can imagine the feeling of a Christian man, a Christian woman who walks and lives uh, in that city. And by the way, nobody dares to take this sign off, to, to take it, you know. So that also says something about the relationship between, between Christians and Muslims. And I think that uh, uh, forging a new alliance or, um, you know, for, um, making it uh, even closer, a closer relationship with the Jews, is practically the way out of this. I think that that's the thinking. Yeah, uh, well, we're, we're talking right now to uh, Adi Schwartz, uh, independent journalist, former staff writer and senior editor for Haaretz, uh, Haaretz a newspaper in Israel. Very quickly, you also wrote a piece uh, about what the Russian terrorists or the Chechen terrorists, uh, the Islamic terrorists, uh, are trying to accomplish ahead of the Sochi Olympics. I think it's pretty obvious their, their leader uh, reportedly called for uh, killing of civilians and trying to do everything they can to prevent the Olympics from happening, correct? Um, well, wait a second. I have to, I have to ask you which, which, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong page. No, no, okay. That was, that was, that was, uh, not, not a piece that, uh, that, 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 that you wrote. I'm sorry. That, that was my mistake there. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. We got less than a minute left, so I'm going to, I'm going to let you go, but I appreciate uh, you coming on. It's, it's a fascinating, fascinating topic. And, um, I think everybody, I everybody okay. should uh, check it out in the Wall Street Journal, Israel's Christian Awakening. And it's, it's just, um, it's very telling of, of uh, the time in which we're living and what's going on over there, uh, in the Middle East. And, uh, D, I hope you'll come back, sir. Thank you very much. I think, thank I think you. That really, this is a, this. Is, thank you. Thank you very much. My yes. pleasure. Okay, folks. Uh, Adi uh, Schwartz. No, that's um. Yeah, you get discombobulated ever? I just got discombobulated. Okay, what can I tell you? All right, folks. So uh, we're coming back uh, with our number three of uh, the really big uh, Steve Malsberg show. That's what they call it, the Steve Malsberg show. And uh, of course, Monday through Friday, three to six p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax TV. And don't forget radio. Don't go away. The Steve Malsberg Show.